What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys some awesome iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks. So the first tweak I want to show you guys is called Earport. Earport is for the Earpod. So if you have the Earpod, you open it up. This is what you get right here. So with Earport, you can see on the left with the tweak, it's black and on the right, it's the standard white. So with Earport, it allows you to actually tweak the animation and all that kind of stuff right in here. So you can see your EarPods Pro, your EarPods wireless case, and then your EarPods. And you could basically just go in there and tweak it. But the main thing I do it for is just to have that black EarPod whenever I open up the EarPods case just like that. So yeah, that one is called EarPort. The other one is called Colorful Notice. Colorful Notice basically gives you your notification like that. So you see it's all in different colors according to the app. So if you want that, you could download Colorful Notice. And then the other one is called Foldy. Foldy is basically if you want to tweak your folders, then you could download Foldy. Just like that. And they're all set up like that. And you could go into settings and go in there and tweak it however you like. So that one is called Foldy. And then the other one is called Digital Battery 13. Digital Battery 13 basically gives you the percentage right up here at the top corner. Instead of having the battery, you just have your battery percentage right up there. You don't have to slide down like that. It's always in the right corner. So that one is called Digital Battery 13. And then the other one I'm going to show you guys is going to be on the iPhone 7 now. It's called Aptic 13. Aptic 13, basically every time you open up an app, you just get a little haptic feedback. You switch pages, open up an app, it gives you a haptic feedback. So that one is called Haptic 13. The other one is called Arch. Arch is a real cool one. If you want to lock certain apps and you don't want to pay for buy or protect, you can use this one. As you can see, that's the mail and it's locked. And if I go to settings, scroll down. It's called Arch or Arc. Put in here, and then you could basically select any app. If I want to lock Cydia, I go to lock Cydia just like that. Now I'll go back, no respring required. And now you can see Cydia is locked. So now you get that little sound with it. You could lock any app your messages, your pictures, all that kind of stuff. That one is called Arch, real cool one. And then the other one is called Harbor. Harbor is this one right here. You see the dock. And if I want to open up an app, I have to do a stop right there. And you can see it'll open up just like that. So that one is called Harbor, and it's a pretty cool app. I won't use it on my main device, but as you can see, if you want that feel, you guys could get it. And you could go in there and set it up however you like. So that one is called Harbor 3. The other one is called Icon Layout Manager. So if you want to save your layout of your icons, then you could use this one. So let's scroll down to it. Right here, so you see I have 1 and 2. So right now I think it's on 1. That's this right here. And 2, it's like this. So it does it on the fly. You don't have to respring or anything. Just go there, pick whichever one. Right now it's on two, so let's select one. And boom, it's back to however you set it up. So if you have multiple wallpapers that you like, you could set it up however you like. So that one is called Icon Layout Manager. And then the other one is called IK Settings. IK Settings is a pretty cool one. It's kind of hard to see with the colors, but what this does is basically it brings in the settings a little bit closer to so let's let's go over here. Let's go on this. I'm gonna show you guys. IK settings. So you guys could see. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So, so this is before. Every, all, everything is to the side, all the way to the sides in the app. And with IK settings, it brings it in a little bit closer, so it looks a little bit cleaner. I mean, so that's what IK settings does. It's kind of hard to show it with the blue background, but it just brings everything in from the sides 
and makes it looks a little bit neater. That one is called IK settings. And then the other one is called set call. Set call or settings color. This is what I use to get these colors in the settings app right here. I mean, it's a little bit buggy, but you could go in there, you could do the custom tab bar, the search background, and all that kind of stuff you see up top, where the tab up top is green, and then everything else is blue. It's a little bit buggy, but you get the, the main idea. You could basically switch up the colors in settings. So you guys could go ahead and try it out and tell me how you how you like it. So that one is called set call. The other one is called slide down, power down, percent. So slide down, power down, percent. What that does is whenever you go to turn off your device, you can see the percentage of the battery is in the slide down. So that's all that does. So it's called slide down, percent down. Or so it'll, it'll be in the description. It's a big word, but that's all it does. You hold down, you power off. You can see the percentage right there in the slide down spot right there. So yeah, the other one is called snowboard. Snowboard is this right here. So this little theme that I have running, that's done with snowboard. So the theme is called Ace N. So if I go to settings, go back, where is it? Snowboard. You see it's enabled. And you could go in there and set it up however you like. Because of this settings call, it's kind of hard to see, but you could select your, your theme right under here and all that kind of stuff and however much theme you have it'll be right in here and once you do that then you have this beautiful theme whichever one you chose right there so that one is called snowboard and then the other one and the last one is called floaty tab floaty tab basically is this right here as you can see you see that now all the tabs that used to be in the bottom of settings is just floating right there so that's what that does right there it's called floaty tab and yeah it works I mean let's, let's try to find another app it's not in all apps because not all apps have these like tabs at the bottom but if it does have tabs then you'll see it just pops up at the bottom I mean so it's kinda hard to show but as you can see right there in settings you can see the tabs are just right there floating around and yeah that's all it does any app that you go into and it has those little tabs at the bottom it'll just bring them up like that and it looks pretty good I mean it's kinda like the tabs at the bottom of the phone and you could go through and you could still do your thing just like that I mean so yeah guys there you go I just wanted to show you guys some cool tweaks it's Prince with ATP 101 Peace. Thanks for watching.